Hi, this is Pete Warren, and again, we're going to take a second look at a Melodyne Editor uh, beta version. Um, I'm going to just pull in an electric guitar part, and I've uh, not practiced this prior, so uh, all we're going to do is pull in this electric guitar part that I recorded um, on a um, uh, song for an artist that I'm working with, and, and um, we're just going to change some parts. This electric guitar part should be a corded part, and, um, and uh, we'll be able to go in and change individual notes. So without further ado, here we go. Now, just as last time, uh, we're looking at um, you know the audio files inside of a Pro Tools session. Uh, so I'm just going to drag a mono one over here and uh, drop it into uh, the beta version. Now, of course, it's automatically spread this out, and it looks like for the most part my tuning is good. Uh, you know, that's a little north of of where it should be, but for the most part, my strings are in tune here. And this is yeah, this is a fairly short part. So let's give it a listen. So what you're hearing is pretty fuzzy, and it also I can hear that it's out of tune. Uh, there's some things bothering me in there, so I'm going to go up to File. Now normally, of course, I'd tune things pretty individually. Um, edit, excuse me, select all, and then back over here, uh, we're going to hit Correct Pitch, and we're going to go to, uh, I'm going to do a strict tuning. Uh, boy, you can see those notes shift on the screen as I do it. And hit OK. Let's see what happens. Probably crashed the system. I think it's done. I think it worked. So, nice and tight and in tune. Okay, so now let's go back and I know it's kind of boring just listening to a, a part like that without any context, but let's just change some notes. So let's see what note that is. Again, I've just gone in and changed individual notes without affecting the rest. Okay, so let's go back and undo all that. Um, try to get back to the way we were here. Okay, that should be it. Now, what I want to do next is take this note. I think that's a suspension. Da, da. I'm going to go da da da. So right here, it's one note, but I think if I go in here and create a division of the note, oh, I might move it to the bar, and then come back here and pick up my pitch tool, and I'll give it a suspension for a second. See, that's pretty cool. You can split the note. And what if I want to put that there? I don't know how much simpler you can make this. Uh, this is so incredibly easy to use. Um, again, I'm going to go in and select all, and you'll notice too it adapted the timing. Now, again, I'm working in the standalone, um, not inside the the plugin. I don't have that yet. I don't believe they've released a beta to anybody on that. Uh, let's put in an eighth note and quantize intensity. I want to get it really strict. So here we go.
So yeah, we can just make a little suspension there if we want to. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty darn cool. I mean, the ability to uh, to just instantly change something like that that a, that a player's done after the fact. and You know, it happens sometimes. You're in the studio and you've tracked something and you get the opportunity to, um, to uh, you know, have a different vocal part than you originally imagined. And the only problem is you really can't use that vocal part because the instruments don't really line up with it. So now you have the opportunity to go back and change some of those instruments. You know, I think that this being a beta version there, you know, there's some you can hear some quality changes in the way you know you're making you know changes to these notes but I would think in the context of a mix it'd be maskable for the most part I uh, also hope that uh, of course that they will um, maybe make it a little bit better <clears throat> as we go here uh, and get the final release version out um, you also have the ability to go in and change the the formants in there as well so when you raise that note way up you can pull some of the formants out and it'll make it more realistic sounding and I wasn't doing that um, just a little higher level than I wanted to go into today. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was beneficial. Take care.